All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Tuesday's best on the website. We're in the Arctic Air Studios tonight. Going to visit with you. Texas Tech College Sports, College Football, College Basketball, Big 12, Eggnog, Christmas stuff, Christmas songs, all of that. We got that going on tonight. So that's what we're looking for from you tonight is uh, just a, a great job of being participatory. Participatory, is that the word? Yeah, I think that's the word we're looking for, participatory. Uh, yeah, you got to get your comments in on all the topics and anything else that's on your mind tonight. Now, it's not that hard to do. It's pretty easy to do. We have the text line waiting for you, brought to you by United Supermarkets. 806-772-0197. If you're watching on X, if you're watching on YouTube, use the text line. It's easy. If you're on Facebook, you jump in. You do what you normally do. So, yeah, Tuesday's best tonight. Uh, a lot of college college transfers and everything else. The talking box is on. Says Craig, indeed, Michael's in. Mark is in. John is in. Simultaneous sip. That's bad product placement right there. I apologize for that. And we begin. In three, in two. Good evening, West Texans. All you good, fine, friendly folks out there who wish you were. I'm Ryan Hyatt, the Raiderland.com. We start the day with you there. Raiderland hot links, the uh, cool questions of the day, everything else we have going on. Hit the website, get your comments in, post it, share it. Grow Raiderland, help our sponsors at the Raiderland. Dot com. We're in the Arctic Air Studios. Um, today was a nice spring day. That's why I'm wearing my College World Series shirt, short sleeve shirt. It was. We will beg for days like this in March to play baseball. We will. Today, though, it didn't feel festive, though. We need some weather. Now, when we get weather, when we get cold weather, Happy Santa up there is going to say, you need to call the bear Arctic Air. They'll get you taken care of, man. Don't worry about it. Getters by you, one of our great sponsors tonight. Lady Raider Basketball, they've got it up there. Tomorrow night, if you can't make it out to the game, you can watch the game there at Getters by you. If you're looking for hot Cajun food, if you're looking for cold drinks, you're looking for Gators by you. Uh, if you go in there and you like Cajun food, you don't know what to get, get the Cajun pasta. The etouffee is good. Uh, jambalaya, all that stuff is good. Get the Cajun pasta. Get it mild the first time. And then go after that. Also brought to you by McAlpin, the chiropractor. This is not his slogan. It should be. If your back is out of whack, don't call a quack. Call Kevin Mack. Great West Texan. Canyon Eagles represent. Fly Eagles fly. Uh, and he's worked with uh, high-level Texas Tech athletes for decades. So if you're looking for a chiropractor, you're looking for Kevin McAlpin. Tell him I said, hey. Hi there, Glenn. John says, I officially entered the old man portal today, and I'm waiting on my offers. Um, congratulations, one. Two, what exactly are the offers you're looking for? It disturbs me to no great end. All right, so here we go uh, tonight. Uh, Tuesday's best. We give you a topic. You give us two examples. Today's topic, two Christmas songs you would ban. Don't ever want to hear them again. All right? Never want to hear the songs again. If you are on uh, X, and we don't mean that as drugs, we mean that as the platform, use the uh, United Supermarkets text line, 806-772-0197. It's on your screen. Same thing for our folks on uh, YouTube. Use that. Text us on that. That We, we use multi-streaming platforms. It's Hard to get everything into one deal. I try to funnel it all down into a narrow nozzle of information that we can access quickly during the show. So use the text line. Uh, United Supermarkets, if you were there today, you saw they had some incredible ad specials. They got me on the cookie aisle. Okay, so, you know, the Chips Ahoy things. Did you guys know that they're putting drugs in those now? 806-772-0197 on the United States. They're putting drugs in. They're putting M&Ms, Reese's, stuff like that. Who the hell knew? They got me. $2.99 ad special. Oh, am I going to buy that? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. And I did. Uh, all right. So if you could drop the band hammer on two Christmas songs, which ones would you ban? 
Little Drummer Boy, right off the bat. Horrible song, hate it. Also today, Eggnog Nation represent. I love eggnog. I'll have some eggnog later tonight. I have eggnog in my refrigerator. I believe that there are more people like me than less people like me. I believe you people like eggnog, but you've got to be empowered. You've got to have somebody like me who's willing to stand up and say, you know what? Damn it, I love eggnog, and I'm going to drink eggnog. I'm going to have it in my refrigerator. So if you're an eggnog aficionado, jump in with me today. Shout out today. Uh, you can tell us uh, if you have some good recipes or just what you want to put in your nog and how you do your nog. That's cool. I want to hear about it. All I want for Christmas is you and Mary Did You Know. Uh, I hope those are the songs you want to get rid of. Mary Did You Know, Pentatonix. Anybody got a wife? Anybody got, got a wife? Got Pentatonix? Know what I'm talking about? Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I didn't throw that out there this morning on the uh, website just because I knew everybody would do it. But yeah, it got old in 1985 or 86 or whenever it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brutal. And it made them millions and I, God love them for it, you know? That's Santa Claus right there. Uh, so yeah, Eggnog Nation represent. Two Christmas songs you would get rid of, never hear again. A little drummer boy on my list. And then we go to the idea of portals, NILs, transfers, and uh, paying players directly, which the NCAA president today uh, released some stuff basically saying, yeah, we got to pay them ourselves. We got to pay them ourselves. And they're about 10 years too late. 20 years too late. And it's still a half measure because it's not going to change anything. And everybody who thinks that, well, if the schools pay them, then the NIL stuff goes away. Uh -uh. See, here's the deal. Uh, the NFL pays Patrick Mahomes and then State Farm pays him. College football will pay, Texas Tech will pay Baron Morton and then Thacker Jewelry will pay him. Ain't going to change the damn thing. All right. How many tech players entered the portal right now? 11. The average over the last couple of years is 23. Uh, tech is way below the average on players in the portal. Uh, what is the interest for Shuck? Don't know. He'll go somewhere. I have no doubt about it. Hi there, Lori. It's my old neighbor right there. Cross street neighbor. Hold on a second. I got to get the product placement. Cheers. Yeah, tech's about uh, half of what the average is nationally on the uh, portal. I have a lot of girlfriends enter the portal. We'd go out on a date or two, and all of a sudden, uh, I'd be informed that, uh, that uh, they were in the portal, never to be seen again. I had no idea. I was an early pioneer on the portal. Uh, Charlotte is watching. Hi there, Charlotte. Glad you're watching. What you don't know, Charlotte, we're watching you too. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you're on uh, X, I don't mean that as a drug. I mean that as... Twitter, use the United Supermarkets text line, 806-772-0197. Same thing for our folks on YouTube Live. Uh, we want to know Christmas songs you hate, you want to get rid of, you can't stand, you never want to hear them again. And then also uh, eggnog. I love eggnog. Anyone else love eggnog? I want, to, I want to empower the eggnog people. And we can talk about how the transfer portal is good. We can talk about how NIL is good. And it's good for Texas Tech. Uh, it's good for players. And it's really what you want if you're a Tech fan. It really is. Uh, Alan says, no more happy Xmas war is over or Mary Did You Know. Happy Xmas war is, I don't know that song, but Mary Did You Know. Nobody likes that song. And the whole thing about Mary Did You Know uh, it violates scripture. It violates, uh, is that Luke? Which one is that? It violates scripture. Yeah, she knew. Like an angel came down and said the whole thing. Hey, guess what? You, you're preggers. And it's really wild. And you're going to think we're crazy. But here's how. It's literally in scripture. The hippopotamus song. 
sung by a young girl from uh, Tulsa. I believe it was Tulsa. You guys can look this up, see if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, she knows it's in the Bible. Uh, and uh, she had no idea it was going to be a huge song. Not Mary, the hip hippopotamus song. Plains eggnog the best. Plains or plain? Uh, John Lennon, Yoko Ono Christmas song. Man, all of a sudden my brain's going uh, dead on that one. Uh, yeah, Plains eggnog the best. Uh, anybody ever had boiled custard? My great aunt used to make that tremendous game changer. Uh, it's better than anything. Plains Dairy? Okay, well, can I get it at uh, United? I think I've got right now in the refrigerator, I think I got the uh, little quart thing or whatever it is. I call it a quart of, uh, it's probably Gandy's, maybe. Nothing wrong with it. It was good stuff. I'll drink eggnog. All right, we're going to, we're going to look for that. I may have it in there right now. I don't know. So how many of you people are pro eggnog? Let's talk about eggnog tonight, shall we? Uh, losing lots of receivers in the portal. What does that tell you? By the way, boiled custard is the best. Absolutely. If you've got a family member, Ben, um, and it needs to be a, a it needs to be like an aunt or a great aunt or somebody like that, and she needs to have the recipe, um, that's the best. In boiled custard. Uh, okay, yeah, you're losing receivers. You're, you know, who are you losing? Price and and, and Brand, two guys that this receiving core. I'm sorry, they're not good. We want them to be good because they're at Texas Tech, and you think, well, if you're at Texas Tech, you're going to be a good receiver because it hasn't been that way for years. You've had about three impact receivers over the last decade. When I say impact, I mean guys that can go to the next level and that can maintain a roster spot. And this is why I like the portal, because it allows you to say, you know what, you can't play here. We're going to get somebody who can play here. You can go somewhere else and play. Aren't most of the tech guys in the portal Matt Wells recruits? Uh, not all of them. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see, I think about – Four of the linemen, almost everybody, uh, or you know, I think within the last two years. So I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, there, Chris, I don't, I don't think it is. It doesn't really matter. Again, the portal is good. The portal allows players freedom of movement. It allows coaches to get rid of problems. Let me tell you a secret. All right. Does the Big Twelve get anything if the Texas Longhorns win the championship? Uh, no, you get the units for playing in the games. You don't get any bonus or anything else. So you are going to have a team in the playoffs no matter what. Every year it's factored in. Uh, no, you don't make anything off that. Uh, the bowl games now, that money uh, is so priced in that it's not like 25, 30 years ago where you got two bowl, you got two two teams out of the – Southwest Conference, awesome. No, it's not like that anymore. Do we have 11 guys to replace the defectors? Yeah, you got plenty of guys. You love guys, they love guys. You'll play a game. Cal will play a game. Doesn't matter. Game doesn't matter. You want to win it because you feel better when you win it. Uh, but here's the deal. I want to tell you a little bit of truth about the transfer portal and why I think it's good uh, and why I think it helps both the player and the team and the uh, school. Uh, nothing's different about players in 2023 than in 2003, 1993, and 1983. You would have players that were dissatisfied, that were frustrated, that were angry that they wanted to leave, but they couldn't leave. You had coaches who were frustrated with players that they had recruited and signed they couldn't get rid of, and they were stuck with it. So... You had locker rooms that were full of malcontents, and it was different for different sports, and some handled it better. What about loyalty? Loyalty? Kiss my ass on loyalty. There is no loyalty. Loyalty to who? Loyalty to what, CJ? Loyalty. Don't come around here talking loyalty to me. Uh, and you had a lot of locker rooms that were dysfunctional. And there were 
a lot of Texas Tech teams that over the years would have been better off if 10 guys could have transferred out of the locker room and gone somewhere else, and you could have got 10 guys to come in and replace them. But we were all stuck together because of the transfer rules. Now, the better teams, they had so much talent above it that it didn't matter. But a team like Texas Tech, a school like Texas Tech, you weren't that team. The university, like the fans are an alumni. No, that's, that's, dude, CJ, that hadn't existed for 30 years, maybe more. That your idea of what college sports is, is doesn't exist, I think, CJ. And it hasn't for a long time. And that's why I said over the weekend, I feel bad for fans like CJ who are just now waking up to how the sausage is made and how this whole thing works. And if you think, and I don't know, I'm just going to make this comparison right now. I'm going to say CJ went to school at Texas Tech 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. The athletes of today have no common experience to you as a student. Most of their classes are online. They hardly have any, any, any inclusion in campus life uh, beyond what they do over there at Texas Tech. They work for the athletic department that plays sports. And you're going to have to come to a, a deal as a fan and say, I accept that and I don't accept it. But the idea that, uh, yeah, class of what, 81? Yeah, you, yeah, you're way old school. The idea that the athletes of today experience the Texas Tech of your day is insane. Now I'll say this, CJ. The Texas Tech you went to doesn't exist anymore and hasn't existed for a while. It's completely different. I'm not talking athletics. I'm just talking existence. So for us to hold some sort of mythical idea of that, oh, we're all Red Raiders, that's a bunch of crap. Red Raiders for life are the uh, ones who have degrees and live in Lubbock. I don't even worry about the Red Raiders life. What does that mean? I think if a guy comes to Texas Tech and he busts his ass on any team and he wears the scarlet and the black, he's a Red Raider for life. He did his job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out. I don't think anybody can answer this in the time I'm gonna give you. But one of the most revered traditions at Texas Tech is the saddle tramps. Somebody really quick me. Quickly, tell me what a saddle tramp is, what they do, and what that means. You can't do it, but I'm going to have a sip, and I'm going to let you do it, and then I'm going to tell you what that means. Most people don't know what a saddle tramp is, um, where it comes from, or anything else. Yeah, Alan's saying Red Raider for life, degrees. No, no, really not, not anymore. Federator for life. For life? Yeah. This is going to be a little harsh for some. I got, I think I got something in my ear. Yeah. Uh, they were male dinglings. That's funny. Pretty good. Shock to Louisville. Good for him. Uh, good for him. Yeah, hope he hope he has a great career year. Hope he and his family. Uh, I still say to Shuck, uh, I would go to the combine because you're a workout warrior, and I would get in there and every college game you play, you decrease your value in the NFL. And maybe somebody's told me you have no shot, but yeah, I would go to the combine. I would look great. And I would, because he could carry a clipboard in the NFL for years. All right, so saddle tramps, one of the most revered traditions at Texas Tech. Uh, the idea comes from back in the day, that would be a working cowboy, a day hand, whatever you want to call them. And uh, they'd come, they'd hang out, and they'd stay a little while, and they'd leave an outfit. But that the idea was that they would leave an outfit better than where they found it. I wouldn't stay there forever. They were basically, you know, itinerant cowboys. Saddle trance. 
tramps. And they would work for a while and they would go on and they'd move to another place. They'd move to another place. What did I just describe? Somebody who comes in somewhere, stays for a little bit, makes it better, and then moves on. And you can figure that out yourself. The harsh reality of it. Uh, so, yeah, actually, the portal's good for Texas Tech. It's good for college sports, you know. It's good for uh, Red Raiders. NIL. Um, just... That's the price you got to pay going forward. All right. If you don't like it, it ain't going to change. So, yeah, maybe, maybe a few folks tonight will hear, you know, what I'm saying about saddle tramps and realize that one of the greatest traditions at Texas Tech is exactly what college sports is today. Some people will come in, they'll hang it out your outfit for a while, they'll try to make it better, and then they're moving on. Don't say nothing about degrees in there. Don't say nothing about staying in there for life. Although I will say this. Hey, if you're leaving a program, just say, thanks. I appreciated the time I had at Texas Tech. I wish everybody luck, and I'm out of here. That's all you got to say. Yeah, you got to do the whole Red Raider for life thing, whatever. That's, that's cool. Doesn't matter. All right, let's talk about important stuff. Two Christmas songs you'd like to ban. Eggnog. Are you pro-eggnog or anti-eggnog? And off the United Supermarkets text line, even though I can't make the bowl game, says the texter, I'm going to donate $20 so the band can go. Uh, are we really still playing that game? Have we got to donate money for the band to go? Are we really doing that? Because I don't think we are. Um, I think anymore it's priced in, and with what they're paying, I would not donate $20 for the band to go. The band's going to go. They'll pay for it. It ain't 1986. I don't think we're playing that game anymore. We shouldn't be anyways. If we're playing, if we're playing the, we got to donate for the band to go. We got problems that I'm not, not aware of. But uh, yeah, in 1986, yeah, donate money for the band to go. But today, don't, don't know. No, they have a billion dollar athletic department fund. Uh, if they won't pay for the band, you don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Alan, I found two more songs. Christmas Shoes. Don't remember that one. Little Drummer Boy, absolutely dreck. Uh, probably a letdown for the band to go from the Macy's Parade to Shreveport. Yeah. And you know it's going to be sleeting in Shreveport, right? That's what it always does. We're really not... Are we? Are we really... Having things going out right now saying donate $20 for the band to go. Are we really doing that this year? Don't shoot the messenger. I really like All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Uh, that's a crap song. Sorry. It's a crap song. You can like it all you want. That's, a, that's up to you. That's not... I might ban it. You don't have to ban it. Not the United Supermarkets text line. Uh, but I still like it. I go into my United Supermarkets location. They got a dude playing piano. Now, the one on 90th and Quaker, they moved him kind of away from the front uh, right when you walk in because it gets cold as hell there. But now he's back by the florist department and just a little. Over. So if you got to go to the restroom, you got to walk by it and you're going, hey, yeah, I got to go to the bathroom. But hey, you keep playing. Spike's first year, 86 or 87 Independence Bowl. 86, David McWilliams, head coach, uh, quits early December. Tech goes to the bowl. Spike Dykes, interim head coach, gets beat 20 to 17, I believe, by Ole Miss and is shortly named uh, thereafter. And uh, me and Sonny Dykes are sitting in the U.S. history class at Cornell High School. Going, Dude, your dad's a head coach at Texas Tech. Rock on. Actually, that's not true. Uh, that was our sophomore year, end of our sophomore year, Coronado. But we were still like, dude, your dad's head coach now. Uh, true story, David McWilliams, we go over. Anybody uh, familiar? I, can, I think I can tell this now. Donate to the Allen wants to be paid to watch the game at home but fund. $20. Perfect. Uh, 
so uh, our sophomore year at Coronado, uh, McWilliams kid, you know, he's there. And, uh, he's a sophomore and we're, you know, all in school and everything. So you had try Y, Hi Y. Anybody remember that stuff? And you go like meet. And, uh, somehow we ended up over at the McWilliams abode. I'm not making this stuff up. It's not like Joe, Joe Biden, not making this up. Uh, it's like September of 86, I guess. 86, was that the year? Yeah. That is our junior year. Hold on. Shit. Now I'm getting confused. Anyhow, they didn't have any furniture at the house. I mean, there was some furniture, but there was like no... You know, like you're going into a house and people are just moving in or they're moving out. And there's like no like furniture there. I met David and Williams twice. Once uh, once uh, in a setting like that. Uh, and then one other time. I got nothing against him. But yeah, it was like, there's dude, there's no furniture here. Kind of weird. At least he's uh, not play, playing in the bathroom yeah yeah he knew he was the one-year guy he wanted to be a one-year guy uh t jones i think i still think t jones takes unnecessary crap for that to this day i still believe that and i didn't used to believe this but having been around uh coach jones i'll call him coach jones uh and visiting with him several times um I really truly believe that T. Jones thought McWilliams was going to be at Tech longer than that and that it wasn't going to be a one-year deal. McWilliams, on the other hand, hey, ain't ready Freddy's getting fired, baby. I'll, and dang it, I like T. Jones. I liked him a lot. He was a cool dude. I, ben, I don't know how much you were around him during that time frame, uh, but – he was really cool to me, um, and he did a lot for the Lady Raiders. People don't realize that. Pretty cool. He was nice to me, though. Uh, off the United Supermarkets text line, we got two minutes, by the way, two minutes morning. Uh, one only thing I remember about the 86 bowl game, drinking age still 18, therefore I remember very little after that. Was it still 18? I thought that was 85. Maybe it was. When did the Independence Bowl in 99, 98, 98, 99? Oh, you Ole Miss. Oh, oh, okay. I get what they're saying now. The next year, yeah. Oh, you and Ole Miss. We rushed to the gas station because we thought Y2K would lock down all the gas station pumps. We made it, and then OU bus drove past us, and I give them the Iowa middle finger sign. Nicely done. Yeah, that was next year. That was uh, the Mike Leach year with OU before he came to Tech. Uh, let's see. Love T. Jones. I uh, know he was a tea sipper, but he became a true red writer. He, he, thank you for saying that, Ben, because that is factual, 100% factual. Uh, off topic, have you watched the news show about Bass Reeves? Lawman. Lawman. Bass Reeves. No, I have not. Looks good. Uh, they promoted the hell out of that during the summer when I was watching 1883, uh, which I, I now, 1883, Lonesome Dove. Shouldn't compare them. Two different vehicles probably are holding them in equal stead. I do like the fact that my wife can quote 1883 uh, and she can't quote uh, Lonesome Dove. So, uh, yeah. Uh, probably need to sit down and watch it. Kind of, I kind of want to get it to the point where I can watch it all in one swoop uh, because I had not seen in 1883 when they rolled it out this summer. I hadn't seen it before. So I was sitting there having to wait each week, and that sucks. I'm impatient, uh, and that kind of sucked. So I'd kind of like to wait till I can watch them all or a lot of them at one time. Uh, that Beth is intolerable, says the uh, texter. That Beth is intolerable. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, I want to see it. Uh, who was that? Was that Corbin? Little Corbin? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to see it. Looks good. You know, I've I've kind of fought some of the Taylor Sheridan stuff a little bit. 1883 got me going. Uh, I need to see 1923, maybe over the holidays. Anybody else got 
like tendonitis or anything. Yeah. Little blue emu right there. Not a sponsor. Just hit that and do that and put some blue emu on your on your uh, elbow. It'll be good. Just imagine having to wait eight months to find out who shot JR. No doubt about it. Anybody else have the shirt? I shot JR. Yeah. Who shot JR? I shot JR. And then it's a freaking dream that Patrick Duffy had, and it's just weird. Yeah, green, white, checkered, 701. Not bad. We got stuff to talk about tonight. Eggnog, are we all good on eggnog? By the way, you guys, everybody who watches and is watching right now in replay, please retweet this on Twitter, X, on Facebook, or whatever. That's all I ask you to do, man. Because if you do that, it exponentially grows it because you people – are friends with tech people who want to watch this. And then my advertisers, they pay my rent. And they're great people. Arctic Air, as good as it gets. Thank you, Brandon. Love eggnog. Eggnog rules, see how? And then people like Gators Bayou and McAlpin Chiropractic. See, we help them, they help us. That's how I get to do this. Now, there are probably some people watching this go, well, crap, we don't want him doing it anymore because it sucks and we hate him. And, well, you know, to you. Eggnog, little nutmeg, little cinnamon stick. No. Watched Lonesome Dove in entirety a week ago. Loved it the umpteenth time. Man, that's a hard watch right there. The whole thing. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. The whole thing in one bell city. I don't know the last time I did that. Um, back around 1999, 2000, uh, buddy, we had a house together. You know, we we're both bachelor men both coming off our starter marriage and uh we had we wore out a vhs tape of that sucker i mean we i can still quote it pretty good i used to be able to do the first 30 minutes like whatever but you know now that i'm reformed and don't watch it every weekend that's a hard go that's six hours right there man that's impressive i mean that's six hours of hard watching Lori's still there. Love you too, kiddo. Tell your family I said, hey, love your guts. That Lori right there, uh, we kind of grew up uh, across the street together from each other, and uh, she's awesome people. She's my kind of people. And she had the biggest hair in 1987 that you could ever imagine. And you know it's true, Lori. MTV rock video hair. Congratulations. We don't rent pigs. No, a man who wants to rent a pig is a hard man to stop. You got to say it up front. You got to tell them up front, we don't rent pigs. Uva um, Vavindo Varia feet. What does that say? You don't even know what that says. But it says itself. It's like a motto. You don't, you, you don't know. Well, a man who comes up and can read it, I'd just like once to have a chance to take a shot in an educated man. That's the way I feel around here some days. Yeah, we don't rent pigs. For good reason. Have you ever tried to rent a pig? Uh, tomorrow on the show, we're going to talk about Patrick Mahomes, the Teflon Don of the NFL now. Uh, this is how I know that Mahomes has reached an elite level. You know, he's been there for a while. This is how I know that he has reached like super elite, like Tom Brady at his best because ain't nothing ever his fault. And you know what? He's had some fault this year. It's true. It's true. But nobody ever says anything about it. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow and how... That's like the ultimate compliment a player can get. You know who had that before? You know, Tom Brady, you know, Joe Montana. Throw interceptions. Roger Staubach screwed around for like three and a half quarters and was like, okay, all right, let's go. We're going to go win. Patrick Mahomes, that level right now. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron. Aaron. Is Aaron here? Aaron. My guy. 
Well, actually, Brett Favre caught a lot of hell after about 2000 and what was it? 2002, 2003. All of a sudden, everybody's like, holy crap, he throws a lot of interceptions. Oh, yeah. So he does. Rodgers, don't get me started. Not a fan. All right. We got to uh, kill off the audience. <laughs> kill off the audience. This is horrible. On a Twitter, X, and a YouTube. So we have to hit the end stream. I think it says end stream on the multi-streaming platform. By the way, we recommend uh, StreamYard.com. They do a great job for us. End stream, yes. 